<laughs> okay, hey guys. Um, I recently, oh, well, it's happened before, but it happened with a, a Ryzen Naga, not an Epic. This is a Ryzen Naga Epic. Um, the clicker was uh, left clicking, uh, like double clicking all the time, left click, um, and right click started to do it. Um, and it's happened recently with mine, Epic, and I only just noticed that there's actually no tutorials on YouTube for this. Um, or anywhere on the internet, really. But for some reason, no one seems to have anything for the for the epic. It's all molten and everything. So I decided I'm going to do this epic tutorial. So this is a tutorial on how to stop double clicking, um, and also just general care for your mouse, like replacing the feet, just cleaning out inside dust or anything you might want to do. Um, so sorry for the bad camera angle right now, because. Uh, it's actually my phone's blue tap to a microphone stand. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, what you need. Raise an graphic, obviously. Um, and you don't necessarily need these tools. You will need a screwdriver. Um, it's helpful if you got just, you know, like a handy little kit like this or something. With little tiny posi drives on it. So you're going to need a posi drive. Uh, really small one though. Because as you'll see, if you just click that off, the screws really really small um, so let's go ahead so uh, some other helpful tools just little pry tools and everything just to just to get the uh, help you get the feet off the bottom of the mouse and replacement feet as well you can get these on eBay about three pound or something it's really easy to get these uh, let me just try and adjust this because you can't really see much okay I'll try that so just replacement feet off eBay about three pound each really easy to get so, go ahead and click the side off your Raisin Argo, epic, uh, just chuck that to the side. You might want to just grab like a, some wet wipes or something, some standard kitchen wet wipes like these, they'll do fine, uh, and just clean it up, and, you know, as you can see, you got just a bit of marks on one and stuff, I'll just clean them off in a bit before I replace it. You won't really need to clean that much, and that's a replacement as well, you can replace that, I will be replacing that feet, foot even, uh, during this, but yeah. So you want to go ahead and do is you want to grab your pry tools. And you want to just gently pry off feet around. You know about big. It doesn't really matter about the old ones, as you're uh, as you're replacing them. So you can just go ahead, just rip these off. The reason I did this is because the last time I cleaned it, which I did recently, but it didn't work because I didn't do it right, because uh, I kind of screwed up myself. And I'll explain why later. What you want to do is you want to. Uh, what I did was I accidentally delete, uh, dented these a little bit because I wasn't really careful you have to be really careful with these feet not to bend them even in the slightest if you crease them at all you're gonna feel it when you start using your mouse again you'll get used to it and then you won't notice it again but you will feel it at first and if you play any MMOs and stuff like me my god you're gonna hate it <laughs> you really are so you wanna just go ahead and you know, pry these off you don't have to replace this middle ring. I might not actually. Yeah, I don't think I'll replace that. Actually. I'll just leave that one. It's fine. So, inside, you'll see you got these. Uh, let me just click a light on. Hold on. Click a light on quickly because you can't really see much, I don't think, from there. Let's see if this helps. There we go. That helps a lot. So, inside there, we've got four screws. You got one, two, three and four okay so you want to go ahead I don't know if my screwdriver is going to reach yeah it is let's go ahead and then screw them don't worry about your mouse clicking and stuff while you're doing this it's uh unless you've got the wireless turned on it won't be doing anything switch so switch it to wired probably the best of this or just remove the battery altogether. If you want to remove the battery, what you do is pull that little lever there, and your battery will pop out just a little bit. And you can grab it if your fingers aren't slippy like mine right now, because I've been cleaning. So yeah, just go ahead and take the battery out if you want to be safe. So let's take all these screws out. Make sure you don't lose these screws. Yeah, lose the screws, you're going to be pretty <laughs> screwed. <laughs> that was terrible. Now, I'm just hoping 
But this video actually saves the SD card on my phone. And not the internal memory. Because if it saves the internal, I might run out of time. Internal memory on these phones. So only about 15 gig, I think, 16 gig. And I've only got about 5 gig left. I have no idea how long this is going to take. It, it should actually take you, uh, you know, about 15 minutes or so, but... I'm dragging it out, going a bit slow so that people can understand. So, once you're going to took all four screws out like this, that's the part we have to be careful because in the Naga Epic, there is a ribbon cable attached inside. Unlike the Naga, which I had before, where the entire casing just comes off perfectly fine. So, once you took the screws out, you're going to put them to the side. Oh, little brackets on that one. Little tiny. Uh, Spacer. Okay, so you want to go and take it, and uh, you won't need your pry tool now. You just gently lift it up, and you'll see there ribbon cables. Yeah, so you want to be careful with those. Just place them to the side. It should just hang like that, nice on your ribbon cable. You can go ahead if you feel comfortable doing so. Go ahead and disconnect the ribbon cables there. Obviously, I won't explain how to do that because if you comfortable enough to do that you will know how to do that so kind of keep the people that don't really want to be doing that from doing it <laughs> so you go ahead and inside you'll see there's left clicker and there's a the right clicker so what you want to go do is you want to grab your contact cleaner yeah you can grab this from like Maplins or anything I think this one was about five pound from Maplin but you can grab them off eBay um, I get like my compressed air and stuff off eBay because it's about three pounds for a pack of like ten cans. It's ridiculous, all these Chinese gold farmers, you know. But yeah, the other day I was in a bit of a rush to get contact cleanser and uh, I was in town as well. So I just went into my bins and got it. Really a pain in the ass to get the nozzles in though. Which you'll notice once you start using them. So once you've gone ahead and put the nozzle on it, what you want to do is you want to get your mouse and you want just a little tiny spray. Make sure you try not to get it on any of uh, any of the electrics or anything. So it's really awkward trying to do this, being right handed and keeping it to the camera where you can see but you want to go ahead and just drop a little bit of contact cleaner. Shit. <laughs> get it on the, uh, the board. Okay. Should be okay though, because uh, this dries really quick, but you want to go ahead and just a little tiny bit of contact cleaner on the clicker itself. It's pretty obvious what the clicker is. You see I've got it there? Just a little tiny drop inside there on the white band, just very, very carefully, unlike what I just did. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and let that soak it properly. You could take a screwdriver or something and keep clicking it and clicking it and clicking it and you'll see the liquids keep popping in and out in and out in and out so you want to go ahead and take that click that quite a few times make sure all the uh, the fluid goes in properly cleans all that and everything but then you gotta leave it alone to dry this is where I screwed up last time didn't let it dry and it actually made well it worked at first but then yeah it, it didn't work for long really being safe with this making sure that doing it properly just going over it again but yeah this, this stuff dries out very very quickly which is why it's okay well, I wouldn't condone getting it on the chipset if you can help it but should be okay should be fine but yeah try not to do that so just, just going ahead just clicking the clickers Click, 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 click. I can still see the fluid, so I'm going to leave that alone. So you want to go ahead and leave that alone for a bit. And uh, and then once that's done, you can just go ahead and put it together in reverse, obviously. You just drop that back on, put your screws back in. Um, now, that'll be fine. It'll actually be fine drying while you put it back together. So you want to go ahead and click everything back together there. Click, click, click. Actually click them. Uh, see, now if you're double clicking and this doesn't work, 
what you want to go ahead and do is you want to put a little bit of tape over the clicker or something because it means your, inter your clicker up here isn't reaching it properly. It would actually be a hardware issue more than where your clickers aren't reaching. So you want to put a little tiny bit of sellotape or something over it. Just a couple of mil, if, if that, maybe even just a millimeter. It depends. It can vary how much it's missing and uh, it will mean it's reaching it perfectly fine then. So you're going to go ahead and put it back together. Put the screws in. Screw it up. Now when you're screwing it up, general rule when you, you know, you're using a screwdriver, especially with uh, delicate stuff like this is, when, you, when you're screwing it, when it gets to the end and it stops, uh, to prevent from over the tightening, but also not making sure it's not loose, when it stops, you want to do just a, a little tiny bit of a nudge with your hand, just to make sure that it's like locked. Just a little tiny nudge. Excuse the uh, changes in music all the time, I've just got Pandora on. Next, my comments will be flooded with, how the hell have you got Pandora in the UK? Just, just, if you should be using Google Chrome if you're not, don't watch this video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're using Google Chrome, just go on, uh, just Google Hola, you know, the Spanish hello, H-O-L-A, install that, it's a plugin, click that, turn it on, uh, select USA, and then just go on Pandora.com, and that's it. I mean, you can make an account and everything, you know. You can even pay for Pandora Plus, or Pandora Pro, whatever it's called, uh, in the UK, <laughs> with a UK address and everything. It's just a, the website, as long as you've got the, the VPN and blocker. So you're going to click battery back in and stuff. So now, you want to take fresh new mouse feet. Like I said, I got these off eBay, they're only about £3. And you want to take these and you want to very carefully place these. Uh, in fact, actually, before I do this, because I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but there's a little bit of residue left from my old feet. A little bit of the glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a standard wet wipe, and uh, I'm going to very, very carefully because I don't want to soak it because then I'm going to have to wait for it to dry before I can put the new feet on. I'm going to very, 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 very carefully. He says, <laughs> as he's just going mental on it. But yeah, I'm going to go and just try and get that residue off. In fact, this will probably do a better job. Scratch the residue off a bit. Yeah. yeah, just making sure that it doesn't affect how the new feet are going to sit. <laughs> just don't want it to, you know, be bulking up and affecting the way the new feet are sitting. Because you really will feel it. If you got one of these mice, then, mice, mouses, mouse eye, my. <laughs> But yeah, if you got one of these, it means, you know, you're not just doing standard office shit and you're not using it as a general mouse, you're gonna you're gonna know what's what's wrong with it. So you're gonna feel it and I can tell you now, it's the most irritating thing in the world to have an uncomfortable mouse. It doesn't feel right. So I'm just go ahead, just drawing that off my top now so I don't have to wait. I don't advise that. <laughs> Don't copy my habits. You might get fluff in it or anything. It's like all sorts of things can go wrong. But yeah, so you're gonna go ahead, carefully peel off your new feet. If you're wondering why it looks like I've got ink on my hands, it's because I have. I do not condone emptying a biro cartridge in the sink, the bathroom sink even, a white one especially. So again, ignore the clicking. Obviously, it's going to be clicking while you're holding it. If you can do this without clicking your uh, your mouse, then tell me, record it, and I'll give you an award. <laughs> so yeah, just carefully making sure that your feet sit perfectly in the gaps. Uh, these already feel better. These are nice. No scratches, because as you could, might be able to see on this, but if you can. You see, my old ones are scratched to hell. And you can feel those scratches. If it's a deep one, you can feel those scratches on your mouse pad. 
And it's very, very irritating. Like, it's excruciatingly irritating. And go ahead and place them on really carefully. Making sure that they're sitting properly in the gaps. Nice and snug. Nice and snuggly, snuggly. Actually, quite no, almost impossible to get them outside of the borders because it's blindingly obvious if it's not inside its borders. You know, it'll be sticking up. You'll be able to see. See, you want to just have a quick look. Make sure they're all level. Yep, they're all level. Battery's back in. So you want to go ahead and take the side, like I said. Wet wipe, just gonna clean that off. You're okay with all this. Like, wet wipe really, you don't have to worry so much about, you know, getting it in stuff. Obviously, don't go sticking it in the battery compartment or something, that's just dumb. You're gonna affect it then, but you know, wet wipes always dry pretty much instantly, so we don't have to worry about putting this back together and thinking, oh wait, that's wet inside, it's gonna, I don't know, condensation, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, just really quickly going to replace that, but make sure if you do order custom feet, or well, custom I say custom, but you know if you order new feet just make sure you get the ones for Razenaga Epic. There are a few different models, like I said there's the Molten one, uh, there's the Razenaga and stuff, and the eBay listings they don't tend to really be that accurate. So just go have a quick look, make sure that the patterns line up with, with the one you've got. I mean, if it's sticking out, you can actually see it. If it's not inside the borders, you can see, you'll be able to see it in the light. It will be bent up. It's really, really annoying to try and get in line now on these ones. Especially if you don't get it in line and you're trying to move it. They don't move very easy. Yeah, done. Okay, so pick it back on. Get together. Nice pad, and voila, feels perfect. So you know, just leave that to dry. Don't plug it back in yet, but that'll work perfectly fine. So let that dry, and then you're done. So yeah, if uh, anyone has any more questions or anything, I might do some more tutorials and other things. Um, but yeah, that's all.